Yo, what's going on, y'all? Um, <laughs> I haven't seen y'all in a long time. Well, it feels like a long time. I've been everywhere, kind of. You know, um, I been I've been getting things ready for the channel. Um, well, everything is kind of already ready for the channel. Uh, I have a PC. I have uh, a mic stand. Uh, as you can see, I do have a gaming chair, and I'm gonna touch up on that real quick. Uh, shout out to people at Ewan Racing for uh, sending me this gaming chair. This this chair is honestly super comfortable, to be honest with you. The chair that I was using before, um, it was a chair that we just had lying around uh, to use, and that chair was really severely hurting my back. And I don't know if you've seen it in the videos, but in the back of the chair, there was these little circle things that um, would hurt my back. And like, it was super uncomfortable making videos, and um you know just i would get kind of demotivated to make a video sometimes knowing i had to sit in that chair for like a cool 30 minutes or so i don't want to stop pushing out videos because of that type of stuff that's why I, I kept trying to upload daily but that's what happened with the chair i swear if i sat in that chair one more time i was getting scoliosis i swear to god it's like i did get sick um like kind of really bad um i was i'm taking anti antibiotics for it uh, it's way, it's not as bad as it was before, but, um, it's just, you know, it's just in case, you know, to stop it from really coming back, because we don't want that. Enough of the update stuff, I, I miss you guys, and I'm happy to keep pushing out content, and today we'll be reacting to three short horror animated films, and all their links will be in the description below, okay, so if you want to check out their channels then all of it will be in the description below and let's get into the video all right y'all the first one is called the snowman this is by animated horror flicks so remember all the links are down in the description below if you want to check out their channel make sure you go over there and let them know that you came from this channel and also don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you want to see me react to more short stories so let's get into you all right here we go i was a struggling ghostwriter and i thought i'd break away from the city to spend time at a remote ski resort would be a good way to clear my head and help me get back on my feet there weren't any other cabins around, so I was guaranteed a few weeks to reflect and enjoy the isolation. Hold on. Sleeping in the cabin by yourself in the woods. That's already not a good sign, my guy. So, good luck. At least that was the case until the final week of my stay, which made this Christmas truly unforgettable. This volume is it so first started high. at night when I suddenly woke up. Initially, I didn't know if it was from something I heard or from a bad dream. But either way, I felt compelled to look out the window. This animation is different. Which is when I noticed the snowman. In the distance. Back when I was a kid, I would have been delighted at the mere sight of a snowman. But that sense of childhood nostalgia was soon silenced by the realization that I wasn't alone out there in the woods. Why would you want to be alone? staying was the only one this side of the valley, so <laughs> it seemed like a really Why would you want to be alone? I mean, I get snowman. it, isolation, but you want to be alone and all Despite that? Look how dark feeling, it is. I was still far too tired to give it too much thought and managed to sleep through the rest of the night. The following morning, to no surprise, the snowman was still there. I couldn't quite put my finger on it right then, but I got this strange notion that something was different about the snowman. I decided to carry on about my day and didn't think much of it until later at night when it happened again. I woke up suddenly for no apparent reason. I don't remember having a bad dream, but I guess it's common not to remember the dreams that we have, even the really bad ones. That snowman affecting your it mind. felt like deja vu and I found myself once again gazing through the bedroom window. Get you some curtains. I could you still can't see hang the snowman, nothing up. Even clearer now. 
I couldn't quite figure out why, but it gave me this odd sensation. I also started to wonder why the snowman was facing towards the cabin. Now you wonder that? And why anyone oh would build a gosh, snowman all bro. the way out here. There weren't any other cabins around for miles. I didn't sleep all that much after that, so the next morning, I decided to head outside the cabin for a closer look. I looked God, around, bro. but just as I expected, there was no trace what of anyone, insane? although it was hard to be sure, considering how poor the visibility was due to the weather. I chose to knock the snowman down, just for good measure, since it was already beginning to feel like some kind of bad omen. Smart. Maybe I was overreacting, it was just some kids fooling around, but at least I wouldn't have to think about it anymore. Or so I thought. The following night, things got even worse. Whoa, these, <laughs> these headphones, bro, like, now I that made it sure seem like it was actually from dream, coming from my window. But a loud thud, like the sound of something hitting the window. Don't check, bro. Just go, leave. I glanced through the window and was shocked to see the same snowman, identical from the day before. I remember turning in quite late that night, and there was no sign of a snowman when I turned out the lights. So I was pretty sure that it wasn't a kid's prank. I mean, who would let their kids out this late to build a snowman? And what was that noise on the window? The last thing I wanted to do is go outside in the blistering cold, but I knew that if I waited until the morning, any footprints would most likely be covered by another thick layer of snow. I reluctantly got dressed, stepped outside and walked up to the snowman. Which is when I discovered a single set of very large footprints leading from and to the forest. What? I couldn't shake That's this what feeling leave, of being watched, bro. and that somehow I had made things worse by destroying the last snowman. God, bro. bro, I swear, if he knocks this one over, it's. I have no, I have no faith in him. So I decided to leave it alone and quickly headed back to the cabin. I just, I, I just. I just noticed that. I just noticed that. Do y'all see that? No, 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 no. How, how, hold on. How long do you need to be isolated for? I think he's been here for like, what, three days? Or more, probably. How long? Never mind. The bitter cold stayed with me that night as I curled up in bed and tried my best to get warm but the prospect of getting any sleep that night soon came to an abrupt end. Bro. The noise on the glass. I recognized it instantly. The sound of a snowball hitting the window. I knew deep down you know that? that it could only mean one thing. Bro. Yo, why, yo, why did that low-key give me chills, bro? Why did that Loki give me chills? I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> Needless to say, I don't know why that I just scared me, bro. Night, <laughs> and I, left I don't the cabin know why the that just scared me. I never knew his name or ever saw his face yeah. as the snowman. That had me shook. I'm not even gonna lie. That had me shook. I wasn't like the way look the way this story was going I wasn't I wasn't sure how I was gonna feel because I felt like it was gonna be like a like maybe I, I I wasn't expecting that jump scare though I felt like this was gonna be like a cool little Christmas story or whatever like I wasn't expecting that that jump scare right now I wasn't expecting that but let's get on to the second one all right this next one is called true scary safari tour story this is uploaded by Wan wancy or wancy entertainment i hope i hope i said that right but yo all your links is down in the description if you want to check them out okay i don't want no copyright strikes no copyright claims 
I mean, even though I don't make no money on this channel anyway, but still. <laughs> It was a beautiful day in August. My family and I had just finished packing for our trip. We were bored and hadn't planned to do anything because our trip was in a couple of days. So we all decided to go to the safari zoo place because it was only an hour drive and a great way to kill time. When we got there and we noticed that there were a bunch of people at the zoo, zoo. my family could get impatient of this, so we asked the receptionist if there was anything we could do that wasn't too busy. Lucky for us, there were private tours. They were a bit expensive, but the lady ensured us that the tour guides were highly educated and great at their job. We were given an- I swear, look, listen, cause- I read stuff very well. I can see where... Look, you see that right there? I can see where this is going. He's going to be some type of creeper or something. I'm already knowing. Like, And realize what she just said. She just said that the people are well, uh, well experienced uh, and all that type stuff. Just, just keep that in mind. Animal food and introduced to our private tour guide. When we first saw our tour guide, we noticed he was a little off. He had a weird lisp, didn't speak very much English, and had a really bad, uh, lazy eye. He got red eyes? When my dad first tried to greet him, he ignored my dad and gestured us to one of the safari minivans. Mm -mm. Nope, we were nope, a nope. little taken aback, but didn't think anything of it. Once we got into the van, we noticed that there was a bad smell and a bunch of animal food on the floor. Then don't we get in driving the, Don't get in the van we then. Our belts on. We first passed by lions and hyenas. It was all really cool. There were also a bunch of vans and tour buses behind and in front of us that were taking all the attention of the animals. Out of the blue, the tour guide turned onto a trail that no other buses or vans were going on. Bruh. I'm letting you know right now, they got 10 seconds to redeem themselves. Actually, not even redeem themselves. Just make the right decision. My dad got a little suspicious and asked the tour guide where we were going. The tour guide replied with elephants shortly because once again... Well, we really wanted to see the elephants at that time, so we all got excited. After a good 10 minutes of driving... We noticed that we had seen no animals and no other tour guides. Just You've been driving for 10 ones. minutes and you... My mom, who has paranoia, was getting worried and repeatedly asked the tour guide where he was going. But then, he never answered. All of the sudden, he stopped the car and said he had to get something from the back of his car. My dad was getting red flags and watched him from the rearview mirror. <laughs> Did my man really just pull out a red flag, actually? Hold on, hold on. <laughs> you keep a red flag in your pocket? <laughs> Why do you keep a red flag in your pocket? I, I just want to know. Watched him from the rearview mirror. And then, my dad hopped into the driver's seat, locked all the doors immediately, and pressed the accelerator to the floor. What? With a fearful face, that I've never seen before like that. We were all slammed into the backs of our seats. Oh my gosh. What's going on? My mom yelled. I saw him holding an axe. My dad yelled back. We made it back to the safari and to the receptionist. We explained the whole situation and she called the police. They had a long search and finally he got caught after a few hours. Oh my gosh. We got a full refund and later found out that our tour guide didn't even work at the safari but used a fake ID. Bruh. What? How? And had history linked with murder.
kidnap. I told you, look, look, I'm sorry I keep pausing it, but I, look, this is going to be uh, only the last few times I pause it, but look. You remember what she said, right? She said that everybody that works there is professional and knows what they're doing. He used a fake ID to get in. Just, just let that sink in. Alright, this next one is called The Haunted Soccer Field Story. This one is also uploaded by Wancy or Wancy Entertainment. So again, you already know the deal. Links in the description, okay? I don't have to say it again. I probably will say it again, but links in the description. This is a story when I was just six years old that I never, ever forget. When I was a little boy, I lived in a big house that had a little chicken coop. Behind my house, you could spot a soccer field, even from far away, because it's uphill. One day, two of my cousins, sister, and I decided to go uphill and play on that soccer field. We were going up innocently without knowing what was going to happen to us. As we arrived on top, we were surprised because there were many people around there. And it was just like this festival kind of situation. It was very crowded and loud, but there was enough space to walk comfortably. The four of us got a little bit sad. We couldn't play soccer. There was nothing else to do. So we decided just to take a walk and followed the pathway that headed on top. Okay. As we went further up, a dead end was what was waiting for us. We then decided to go back because yeah, there turn was back. nowhere don't, to go. Yeah, don't but as do soon that. as we turned around and stepped down, we noticed that the crowded loud sound, the people at the ground, were gone. Completely. I got scared and shocked. The people vanished in an instant. Not only me, my cousins oh my and my God. sister were as shocked and scared as me. We just started to scream and ran away quickly. I started late on running away, but I soon caught up with them, passing one of my cousins. <laughs> but as I was... <laughs> he does not care about... <laughs> He does not care about his cousin at all. Look, he got burners. Look. <laughs> he does not care about his cousin at all, bro. He, he said every man for himself. <laughs> but as I was running away, I could feel someone grab one of my legs all of a sudden. What? It made me fall down hard instantly. My face hit on the ground and my nose was bleeding. Oh, I cried God. so much that time, but my cousins and my sister helped me get up and we ran as fast as we could. We got yelled at by my mom and she asked my sister how come I got injured the way I did and sprained my ankle badly. It was red and swollen. My face got a bit of scratches and my lips and nose were all bleeding. Later, after that day, my sister told the whole story about that mysterious vanishing to my mother. And then she changed her face, looking a little bit uncomfortable. That field up the hill is a graveyard. And we were all shocked by knowing the truth. So the people we saw up there were dead people. But still, thinking about it again, what? how can you explain my accident? That's what I was just I about to say. How do you explain that? My ankle, but you know, running away and trying to grab I thought his, ankle I thought his cousin impossible. behind him tried to slow him down because he tried to speed him up. It was up. a warning for me not to go to that field ever again. How do you explain that? In any case, I still remember that event so clearly that it gives me chills. How do you explain that though? I'm so confused. Like. I, like it's not a ghost is it i don't nah I can't. It, actually it can be a ghost but i'm still thinking it's the cousin i think the cousin didn't want him to speed up on him so he slowed him down but all right y'all that is <laughs> that is it for <sighs> reacting to scary animations uh again everything is down in the description below so if you want to check out their channels uh, and subscribe leave them a like um i don't know if i'm gonna contact them to ask permission if i can 
react to uh, these stories i probably can but um i might do that first i might email them um but if you enjoyed make sure you leave a like make sure you subscribe make sure you comment and you know 2020 i'm uploading a lot so, like my goal is to upload like almost every day but you know i do have school and things like that to focus on so if you enjoyed again like subscribe comment and you should go shop at ewin racing they have some good chairs um i'll probably leave that link in the description and i'm out i love and appreciate all of you peace out